Hey, history enthusiasts, welcome back to our journey through the tapestry of ancient India. Today we're diving into the riveting tale of the Pallava dynasty, a powerhouse that shaped the southern realms from 275 to 897 CE. If you're ready to unravel a saga of rise, conflict, and architectural marvels, hit that like button, and let's get started. Now picture this, the Satavahana Empire crumbles, paving the way for the rise of the Pallavas. They seize control over Tonde Mandalam, a region in the Deccan, but it's no smooth ride. The Pallavas lock horns with the Chalukyas to the north, and dance through conflicts with the Chola and Pandya kingdoms to the south. The drama unfolds over 600 years, peaking during the reigns of Mahendravarman the Verse and Narasimhavarman the Verse. Spoiler alert, it doesn't end well for the Pallavas, they face a mighty defeat by the Cholas in the 9th century under Aditya Dvast. Now brace yourselves for the real showstopper, the Pallavas' love affair with architecture. Kanchipuram, their capital, becomes a canvas for magnificent sculptures and temples. The jewel in their crown, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Shore Temple in Mamalapuram, we're talking about a dynasty that laid the foundations for medieval southern Indian architecture, leaving a mark that echoes through time. Can you say cultural legacy? But wait, there's more. The Pallavas weren't just builders, they were influencers. Ever heard of the Pallava script? It's not just a bunch of ancient scribbles. It's the script that influenced writing systems in Southeast Asia. Their defeat doesn't erase their impact. Instead, it sparks a transition in southern Indian society. Devotional sects rise, and a new Chakravartan model of kingship takes the stage. The Pallavas may have bowed out, but their influence stretches beyond India to places like Kedah, Champa, and the Funan Kingdom. As we wrap up this chapter of history, take a moment to appreciate the enduring impact of the Pallavas on the cultural and architectural tapestry of southern India. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and join us for more historical adventures. Until next time, keep exploring the past, one dynasty at a time.